For those of you who might not know, this is Dr. Julie Ponder from the Raptor Center at the University of Minnesota. You probably have figured out by now there is going to be a Raptor release. Yeah, and Raptor. how often do you release, get the chance to release a bird that has been rehabilitated? Release close to 400 a year. 400 a year. Now can we ask, uh, can I ask, how did this bird come to you? This bird actually was involved, uh, one of the very few that did not come in as a result of human actions or activity. Um, this bird actually came in as a result of a territorial fight. He was had talons locked with another male, and they fell in a lake or in a swamp actually area, and they got all wet and couldn't fly and were traumatizing each other. How do you rescue or separate birds like that? That's a just a curious question. Is that your job? Well, this, this is a volunteer that went out to get them. By the time she got out there, they had already let go of their talent, so they are no longer talent locked. But Susan is one of our 300 volunteers, but she's one of the ones that goes out and picks the birds up and brings them into us. All right, we can answer questions afterwards. Let's do this then. How, how do we go about doing this? What do you need? Well, Susan's going to hand you a pair of gloves. You've got sunglasses, so you don't need glasses. All right. You're going to you're going to want gloves. All right. We don't we don't want you to hurt your hand. I'm opposed to that on lots of different levels. Okay. So, we'll take the hood off in a minute, but what you're going to do, don't do it yet. All right. What you're going to do is take your pointer finger, come in under my hand. All right. The legs. Okay, not yet though. Not yet. Okay. And then you're going to grab the feet like I do. So okay. One finger in between them and then grab them. Okay. Once you have these feet, hang on. Oh my. Hold tight. <laughs> okay. Okay. You want to keep the bird low. You don't want to get it too near your face. Okay. I'm in, I'm in favor of that. Yes. And I, once you have the feet, I'll hand the bird over to you and you hold it like I'm doing. So All right. Like a baby. Uh-huh. Then we'll let the kids count down. We'll get a few pictures because I'm sure you want pictures. Oh, yeah. And then we'll let the kids count down or count up. And then when, you know, so three, two, one, and then you will lift the bird up and over. Just kind of turn it upright and toss it towards that field there. And it knows what to do at that point. It will figure it out really quickly. All right. Susan, I need the hood off. And then you can get some pictures of the bird without one. No, I want the hood off while I have the bird. <laughs> Is this pretty cool timing? Yeah. So bring your finger, my fingers yeah. up like this. Yep. And then up towards those feet. Now, you got them? I think I got them really tight. All right. Okay. All right. Now you're going to like this yep, take okay it. i'm going to slip, slip i got him hand out okay, okay. keep them low keep, uh, keep them low. low keep them low okay all right. okay kids you ready to help count yeah okay so you're gonna go feet down body up right, right. ready one two one How cool is that? Wow. If you are watching this on the WCCO website, I want to also remind you that a, a very great project is MemoryVision.tv, who provided this video footage for us today. So appreciate your coming along. And again, invite you to go to Raptor.org if you'd like to learn more about the Raptor Center at the University of Minnesota, the great work that they do. Thank you. Thank you very much. And thank you, Alan Elman. Appreciate your being along.